Okay, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a Mushkin product. I think everyone knows Mushkin mainly for their memory. Uh, I've owned their memory quite a bit. I've also owned Corsair. While I like Corsair, I think sometimes, you know, there's a lot of hype dealing with their uh, Dominator memory. I actually have better luck with uh, Mushkin memory. So we're going to do a review today on not one of Mushkin's memory modules, but we're going to do it on their power supply. It is their new power supply series, and it is, they are called the uh, Jolt and the Joule, and we're, we'll be doing the Joule today, the 1200 watt Joule. Uh, another reason why I'm doing this review is because uh, before I bought them, I could not find a review anywhere out there how good they were. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing, and later I'll, I will be doing a review. Uh, the reason I went ahead with Mushkin is my son has a 800 uh, watt Mushkin power supply. He's had it for a couple years now. It was beautif beautifully made, so I'm hoping these will continue. So here's the box. As you can see, the box it's real heavy power supply, so you know there's some heft to it. Uh, it has some real good. Uh, colors. Green is kind of Mushkin's color. So let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, the first thing I see is the same thing that was in uh, my son's power supply. It's called the cord and accessory box. So you pull it out. And we'll get to that there here in a second. This, and then there's the power supply down in there. Let's get it out and see what it looks like. Okay, let's set that to the side. Here's the box. Okay, in the here's a power cable, and this is a thick cable. It's not one of the thin cables you get. Let's see if I can figure out what gauge it is by looking at it. It is a 14 gauge. I think that is a little bit higher than normal. The only gauge that I've seen that was thicker than this is I had a PC power and cooling 1200 watt at one time, and it was maybe 12 gauge. There's some power supply ties, and of course you get your four power supply screws. Okay, here's the power supply here. Uh, this is a modular power supply. It's not 100% modular, because when I was originally looking to get a power supply, I most went with the Silverstone Strider, because it's 100% modular, but the price on it was a little too much. Uh, what you get... Uh, that is not modular. Of course, you get the 20. It has the 20 plus 4 pin for your motherboard. It then has the, this is a 4 plus 4. 4 plus, let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. This is the 4 plus 4 for your 12-volt uh, power for your motherboard as well. And then you have all the cables on the Mushkin power supply, including the modulars, are 6 plus 2s. And that's what I like. I don't like just to have 6s and 8s. I like them all to be 6 plus 2s, so you never run out of what you need. And there are quite a few for this power supply. So there is two 6 plus 2 PCI Express power supplies in the non-modular part. Let's go ahead and take this out of the plastic there and see that, that looks really good. It has a clear fan on it. You can see and it says Mushkin with the Mushkin lo logo. And let's look at the other side. You have, there is all the specs for it. It has, a, looks like six rails at 19 amps. And so that's plenty of power. Now, I'm kind of the guy that likes one single huge 12 volt rail. I don't really like rails broken up. So what Mushkin does, which I've not seen any other power supply do, is here on the back there's a switch. Let me get a close-up of that switch. And that close-up uh, of that switch is called rail fusion. So you can run all the you can run all the uh, rails separately, six at 19 amps, or you can go over here to combine and you have one big 12 volt rail. And that's what I prefer. Something else Mushkin has done that I've not seen on other power supplies. If you're like me and you change your computer theme a lot, this will work perfectly with it. If you look here, you actually have a button that will 
allow you to change the 120 millimeter fan's color. It's an LED fan and you can run it at red, blue, green, or even off. And for those of you that change your colors or your themes to your computers a lot, you buy this power supply and you're, you're good. Now my son's older 800 watt power supply just was green. And that was one of the reasons why I did not buy it for my previous power supplies. Okay, let's look in the accessory box. In the accessory box you have your manual and it has all the specs on, on what the power supply is. So you can use the uh, manual to go through. It actually gives lengths for your power supply wires. Uh, quite a few here. Okay, now here's the uh, modular cabling. And I have not seen a power supply maker that has as good uh, power supply cabling as this Mushkin. Uh, or the Mushkin I had before. See how there's, it's completely uh, covered by the shrink wrap. You can barely see any uh, wire colors at all. So you get one modular that has one, two, three, four zero ATA power. You have a six plus two. That's one six plus two. Let's see if I can find all the six plus twos. There's two six plus two, and as you can see, they are blue, and they are wrapped really well. Here's number three, six plus two. And number four, six plus two. So that gives you a total of six, six plus two PCI Express power supply. So that could run Tri uh, SLI for NVIDIA cards that require a six pin and an eight pin. Here is another serial ATA, no I'm sorry this is a Molex this is just two Molex connectors, you have one of those here's another connector that you have three Molex plus the uh, floppy power supply, I'm not sure who uses a floppy anymore I used to use it later than most people because of BIOS updates but heck you don't need that for BIOS updates anymore you have a serial ATA cable that has two on it and then, for those of you that have an enthusiast motherboard that requires two 8-pins uh, for plus 12-volt power, here's the second one. So this will run the classified motherboards that require two. Well, they only require one, but uh, you put two in there so it has plenty of power so you can overclock. So there are all your modular cables. And they ain't in the big ball. Like I've seen some power supplies are just laid in this box. And so you, you will be able to bend them how you want them when you go to use them. So that is what's included. What I'm going to do now, oh, I didn't show you the other side. Let me show you the other side. This is the modular connectors there. And if you look down below, you have the blue. That's for your PCI Express additions. And then up here is for your, your black or for your Molex and your Serial ATA. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the video, I'm going to get power to it, and we're going to look at this LED and see how it looks.